a great time to be a beer lover in the UK. Supermarkets are packing out their shelves with fantastic new craft beers. So let's take a look at what Lidl have to offer. It's beer o'clock and today we've got a can of Black Isle Brewing Company's Ulstad Munchen Lager come in at 4.8% ABV. Now, I got this can from Lidl's. Lidl's have got craft beer. And this one actually stood out um, the most um, in my eyes. I just sort of, the can really does stand out on the shelf. And when I said it was a Munchen Lager, um, that got me sort of, you know, sort of, oh, what's all this about? And then when you see it, I don't know if you can see it. See that? Natural and unfiltered. So, being that I'm a lover of like Keller beers and unfiltered beers, I thought to myself, cool, this is right up my street, you know. Um, let's grab a can of this. To review it, £1.69 this can. So it's a 440ml can, £1.69. You know, absolutely crazy price. Um, and apparently, so this 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 Black Isle Brewing Company, they're from Scotland. Um, I've got a sort of an IV, I think it's Inverness postcode, and they've been going since 1998. And their head brewer, um, Thorsten, has always wanted to produce a sort of a, a Munchen style beer, and this is it. So let's crack it open, get it into a can, um, get it into a glass. Sorry. <laughs> Um, I'm expecting a lot from this, really. Um, let's uh, let's see. Oh, well, the first thing I'm noticing. I don't know whether you can see this yourselves. It's a fairly dark beer. So, we've got a real sort of copper coloured beer there, a lovely two finger off white head, plenty of carbonation and it's also, it's got that, that cloudiness to it which is a trait of, of, of an unfiltered like Keller beer style. But looking at this style, as it stands, this colour, it sort of looks like a bit sort of an Oktoberfest Marzan. You know, the Oktoberfest beers tend to be that slightly a little bit darker. Um, let's get the aroma. Oh, it smells like fresh bread. Yeah, it's hops, fresh bread. Little pepperiness, pepperiness there, and I am actually smelling there's some roasted malts in this, definitely. Maybe some sort of light roasted malts, just uh, and that's definitely where it's getting this colour from. Is some, some some roasted malts there somewhere? Let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. You can really taste them roasted malts in this. It's giving this beer a sort of caramel-esque taste to it. Burnt caramel. Um, it's fresh, it's zingy. Bone to it. It's got fantastic flavour. You think this is this is a beer that's brewed in Scotland? You know it's it's got all the traits of a very very good German beer. 
Yet it's brewed in Scotland and sold in Lidl's at £1.69 a can. I tell you what, this is an awesome drop of stuff. I don't know how I've managed to do it. To produce a beer that's good at that price, you know. Um, Lidl's are probably had to make out of this can. It's one pound sixty-nine. Lidl's have probably wanted to make sixty-nine p on that. So say the brewers have sold these to Lidl's at a pound. I don't know how they can do it. I don't know how they can do it. You know, this, you sort of, a lot of you might be watching this and you sort of think to yourself, you'd walk down the aisle, a lot of you watching this might not even go to Lidl's for your shopping. And some of you might, if you do, walk down the aisles and look at some of this beer and sort of think, mm, you know, Lidl's craft beer, yeah, is it going to be, you know, any good? Well, I'm going to tell you what, this is bloody lovely. I hope this is just not a one-off out of Lidl's, to be honest. I'd like to see the, this in Lidl's all the time. Especially when you think, you know, next month you've got Oktoberfest sort of going on. A lot of people nowadays, I like to celebrate like Oktoberfest in their own home, don't they? You know, you can buy all the bunting and that on eBay and put it around your house. Can you imagine you've got like people, you want to celebrate something like that. You can go up Lidl, rock up Lidl, Buy a load of this, right? Buy a load of, they always have that Oktoberfest beer on anyway, don't they? The, 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 the kegs of it and stuff like that. And you could probably have a bloody good night round your home. You know, and this, this is, this is, this is probably more authentic to an Oktoberfest beer than what one of them cans of fest beer that, that they do. You know, this is, it's very, like a, it is like an Oktoberfest Marzan. Oh, I'm really, really impressed with this. Um, look, get down a little. They're open all weekend. Rush down there tomorrow or Monday. Go and grab yourself a couple of cans of this. Right, and you'll thank me for it later. You'll thank me for, for telling you. This is a top, this is a top beer, especially when we're going to have a hot bank holiday weekend. What's more refreshing on a hot bank holiday weekend than a nice cold lager, you know. And this is going to tick all the boxes, you know, especially if you can have a barbecue or anything like that. Go and grab yourself a load of cans of this and, and enjoy the weekend, enjoy the weather. Um, seriously, you will not go wrong with this. This is fantastic. This is a steal. Um, I cannot praise it up enough. Just go out there, buy a can, try it, see what you think. Leave a comment below. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And uh, also subscribe to the channel. Uh, without you subscribers, we're nothing. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.